Losing your files or finding the wrong version of your file is the worst. I opened up a document here in 2025 and realized that there were scribbles all over the page from an accidental edit. That was embarrassing, but I needed the original, which was created in 2023. I panicked, but then I realized I was on a Mac and Apple thought of this so I wouldn't have to. My name is J.I. I make videos on the technology in our lives and how we can use it to make our lives easier. Now. If you lost a file or you need to revert to an older version of a file, that is possible as long as you have iCloud enabled or use Time Machine backups. The benefit of keeping everything in the cloud is that there are multiple redundancies of that file so you can always recover it. And it's automatic too, so no user intervention involved. The downside? Well, you have to pay for cloud storage space. The pros about Time Machine is that it keeps multiple snapshots in time of your full computer and it's free. The downside is that you need to ensure you have enough storage space and some intervention is required. First, I'll show you how to recover your files, whether you back up on iCloud or on Time Machine. Sign into iCloud on your web browser and you will see an area for data recovery. In this section, you can view all of the files that were recently deleted within 30 days. You can recover photos, documents, files, anything that you need to, as long as that folder was syncing with iCloud. If you want to go further back than that, Time Machine is your best bet, and we will get into that shortly. If you have files on your computer that are within iCloud or backed up on Time Machine, you can revert to previous versions of the file. So in this instance, here is a file that has a bunch of scribbles on it. I'm going to open up the PDF by right clicking the document and selecting open. From there, you'll click file, revert to, browse all versions. This will bring up a view of every version that has been backed up of this file. If you don't have iCloud enabled, as long as you have Time Machine and have your Mac set up to make frequent backups, you can still use this revert function and go even further back depending on how big your Time Machine hard drive is. If you don't have Time Machine enabled, you need to do that from now on so that you never lose a file again. Go to the Apple logo and go to System Settings. Then go to General and Time Machine. Now the beauty of Time Machine is that it can work on a network drive or a portable external drive. I would highly recommend using a network drive so that these backups will occur automatically in the background while you're on Wi-Fi or your home network without having to manually plug in a hard drive every time you want to create a backup. You can choose the backup frequency based on your preference. I've also linked a video that I made previously on how you can hook up Time Machine to a network attached storage, so go ahead and check that out. I do have a Time Machine backup on my external here, so I'm going to show you what it looks like when you need to recover your entire computer or a specific file. When you need to recover a file, you simply open Open up the Time Machine app and a Rolodex of your entire backup history will appear. You can scroll back to your earliest backup, in my case was back in December 2024, or anywhere in between. You can navigate anywhere on your computer to choose the specific file you want to recover. That is pretty much it. If you want to restore your entire computer rather than just one file, you can use the Migration Assistant tool in your system settings. You can find this under General and Transfer or Reset. This is useful, especially when you are moving from one Mac to another and want an exact replication of your previous computer. In a nutshell, well, that's how you can recover your files or restore from a previous version. If this video was useful to you, let me know down in the comments below and hit that subscribe button because I'll be making more content like this on how you can use your Mac to its full advantage or any other Apple device. My name is J.I., thank you for watching and thank you for kicking it with me.